All right, what's up? Travis here with the Modern Bay Company. As you guys know, we do Subaru conversions in Volkswagen Bay Window buses. Uh, specifically, Bay Window buses are 68 to 79 years. Uh, we ended up a lot of late bays, like this one. This is a 79 uh, Sage Green. This bus is beautiful. This is a Billy Goat build. If you guys saw the motor build um, series that, that we put up, um, that was uh, all about Billy Goat's uh, build. So you may be familiar already. You may have seen this bus in the background of a lot of our videos. But uh, today's video is quick tidbit. And when I mean quick tidbit, it usually ends up being like 20 minutes long. <laughs> we'll make it as quick as we can. Uh, but I get asked so many questions from the DIY crowd, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, of what to do with your Volkswagen wires uh, in terms of how they tie into the Subaru system. Uh, and it's a great question. It's something that, excuse me, that confused me um, for a while until, you know, of course you figured it out just like anything. And then it's, it's kind of cake. But uh, this has been, it's been pretty cool because we went from on some of our earlier, on our own buses, on the shutter buses, uh, went from, you know, kind of making this work to kind of creating a, a somewhat of an elegant system to doing it, uh, repurposing some of these wires for other other things, uh, which is kind of cool and that sort of thing. So uh, that's what today's video is about. It's gonna be a, a kind of a tutorial DIY. We got two cameras here, so hopefully you'll get to see the nitty gritty of exactly what to do with your Volkswagen wires and how to tie it in. So without further ado, um, let's just get right into it. All right, so I'm gonna awkwardly hold these wires here because the camera can see them um, as it should be able to. I'm gonna identify them first. So coming out of your uh, firewall area in this corner, uh, we've got a small bundle uh, in this kind of you know tan sheath right here. Oh no. <laughs> small bundle on tan sheath. Uh, that used to come right up here to your heater blower motor. Um, so when you turn on your heat, when you hit that lever to turn your heater blower on, this would activate the relay, send power. Um, and that's you know just how that worked. We no longer have that. And so we don't need this, but we do need some of these wires. So in here, this red wire uh, that has the inline fuse. Wow, that's old. <laughs> uh, old 16 amp fuse for the blower. Uh, we don't need it. And furthermore, where it comes from is the starter. So there's this leg of wire that only goes from the starter lug to right here. This is the only thing it powers. Also why it has an inline fuse. We don't need it anymore. So we're gonna cut that off. Uh, I'm gonna stub it off. It's not worth the effort to peel back all this to get that one wire out. I hate leaving lone wires in in general, but if it's gonna take another hour of my client's time to unpeel all this, take this one wire out and then put it all back together, it's usually not worth it. Um, so what we do is nip it at this end, tie it off, nip it at that end, tie it off. Um, and we no longer use that guy. You don't need it. Uh, one less connection at the starter too, which is good. Now, moving along here, this black wire, and I gotta do it over here actually. So this black wire, this guy comes all the way from the front of the bus, from the fuse box, the Volkswagen fuse box at the front of the bus, um, and it stops here at the heater relay, and then it goes down to your coil. That wire is super important. That is ignition power. Um, so we're going to need that wire, but we don't need that wire going through here and then all the way down here. So what we're going to do is nip that off there. And then these wires right here um, for your heater, we don't need them. So we are going to go ahead and nip that stuff off. Things are about to get crazy. Hope you guys are ready. Uh, here we go. So tug on this a little bit. Nip off right over there. <laughs> nip off my red guy. All right, get out of here. Uh, and then we are going to nip this guy off. If you think you might ever use this relay, leave yourself you know, a few inches at least, but I know I'm not ever gonna use it and I could use the tail. So I want that. And then I haven't talked about this yet, but there's this brown and white wire. It also becomes a dead wire once you cut it off here, but we use it, uh, It's I don't know if it's top secret. Is it top secret, Jeff? Oh, not yet. Not yet, okay. Uh, well, will it ever be top secret? No. <laughs> all right. So we use this brown and white wire because it's a wire that goes all the way to the front of the bus inside the stock sheath, stock sheathing. Um, and we repurpose that wire for our heater valve. Uh, it's, I'm kind of, I'm excited about it because we used to run a whole bundle of wires all the way up to the front. And honestly, it was just really annoying. 
just to accomplish this one function of activating our heater valve, we no longer have to do the whole bundle because we tap into that guy, which is awesome. Uh, so that is that for these guys. Um, this just goes, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this side of this so I can pull it all the way through. Um, but, oh, the last one I have not identified yet, <laughs> we're all over the place, um, is this wire, it's blue and black. This blue and black wire used to go to the oil pressure sending unit on the Volkswagen motor, the air-cooled motor. Uh, we don't need it anymore. We don't need this wire for that same purpose, but we do need it for the Subaru if you want to hook up your oil light on the idiot gauges on the, the instrument panel. Not gauges, no one's an idiot. Hmm. Um, if, if we want to hook that up, which we do. So I am going to keep that, but I'm going to nip this uh, because I don't need any of that stuff. And it then allows me to pull this sheathing off of here. Oh, I gotta cut this guy too. So that's the other end of the ignition wire. All right, now I can pull this old Volkswagen sheathing off. Dun, da, 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 and pull the dead leg of my ignition um, wire out. So now from that you know, tan bundle coming off, again, this is on a 79, uh, we are going to use in our conversion, in all of our conversions, we use the oil sending unit for the light, we use the ignition uh, to power our ignition relay uh, in what we call the bus brain. Um, so we'll need that. And then we need the brown and tan for our heater valve. You may not need the brown and tan. Um, you probably should use these guys. So that's that from that bundle. Uh, what we do in our systems, we have this main branch that, that um, is kind of all of our auxiliary functions uh, for the bus brain, which we'll show, show you guys at another time. Uh, it comes right down here. Um, it brings power to the fuel pump, uh, powers the VSS, has those connections on it, reverse light, uh, the heater valve. What am I missing, Jess? Oh, the radiator fans, there's that. Uh, kind of important. Anything else come to mind? Mm -hmm. All light, reverse lights. Yeah, pumps, reverse lights. Yeah. VSS, yeah, all that yeah. fun stuff. All the good stuff. So it comes back here. So what I do with these wires, I end up having them follow my bundle here. Uh, and then when everything goes into this bundle right over here, right under here, then they connect where they need to and make everybody happy. So um, in short, from this bundle, I think I already said this, I'll say it again. Uh, oil sending unit, um, black and blue, ignition, black, and then brown and white, we use it, you don't have to. Uh, they get tied back there, connected where they need to go. Um, which the oil sending light actually connects to the one on your, your new Subaru motor. Easy enough right there. Um, the ignition, like I said, up there. And man, I've explained the same thing like three times. This is a great video. It's gonna be 20 minutes long, I tell you. All right, the last wire we need to connect up for our Subaru conversion is this guy right here. It feeds the alternator light. Uh, so what I do for this, I wanna make it go to the same place these guys do, which is our kind of main branch in our bundle. Um, and so what I do is I want to keep as much tail as I need here. And then I nip that connector off. I strip this guy back a little bit. And I know I'm going to get some flack. I'm going to get some people saying, what? You don't solder every connection. And I absolutely do not because uh, this is something I've, I've looked into quite a bit. Um, in applications where things vibrate a lot uh, or tend to move a lot, uh, it's not a good idea to rely on solder for um, strong connections over time. So I'm taking some 16 gauge. Um, I usually used uh, tinned wire. It's the, I use the good stuff because I want it to last as long as humanly possible. I add a splice in here. Jess, we got heat gun around. Yeah. All right. Add a splice in there, of course. Give that a good solid tug. Make sure nothing's gonna come out. And then I know about how much wire I need to come back here, but I'll go ahead and measure it out. Um, and then I sheath, I sheath, sheath, sheath this wire too. Um, just because I don't like to have any bare wires hanging out, potentially shorting out on anything. So oh, <laughs> we're going to. 
All right. Takes a bit longer if your gun's not warmed up, but gets the job done. So this wire, um, I'm going to use something. I mean, it's, it's fairly easy to use. If your sheathing that you just took off is still in good shape, uh, you can just poke it right in there. Uh, or you can get a new section of split loom uh, or sheathing. Totally up to you, of course, uh, what you want to do there. But uh, we'll see if we can get this through without too much fuss. Oh, yeah. We're through, babies. Okay, and I'm actually going to bring that all the way back to where everything branches off here. Oh, quick note. You see these three wires kind of hanging there? Uh, those are added by the, the owner of this bus at some point. They don't, they're not stock, so you won't see them on your bus. Um, unless he also worked on your bus. <laughs> um, all right, so there's that. And just like we did with that tan section, I'm bringing this back, tying it back. And we're not at, to the phase yet where we're going to anchor all these wires. Um, we got our main anchor up here, but once we do, these will get anchored and zip tied together. But we're almost there. So there's that. And I really enjoy doing it like this because it just makes for a nice, clean routing of what could otherwise be a big mess. And that's how you tie your system in. So uh, just one more time to recap. Use your ignition wire to trigger, ideally a, a new relay like we do, uh, that brings power directly from the battery to uh, your Subaru ECM and everything else that needs ignition power. So that wire, your oil light and your alternator light. We also use the brown and white wire, repurposing it for our heater system. Um, and that is that. Uh, Jess, anything I'm forgetting? Things about the covered at all. That's about it. Um, I forgot to tie off my, my dead leg. So I'm gonna tie off my dead leg, that red leg that was coming out of here. You can still see the end of it. I'm gonna do that and uh, we'll be done with this section of this bus. Thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it.